How long are you going to stay here for? Well, we will stay here until we win, and we hope that that will be only just a few days. Ying Lax, Ying Lax leads a democratically elected government. She's not going to stand down. Well, we accept her legitimacy that she was elected. Election is just a process of democracy, but it is not the democracy in itself. Being elected doesn't mean that your corruption will be legalized or legitimized. Even when you are elected, but if you do something unlawful, if you violate laws, you violate constitution, we have to overthrow you before the day ends. Why not go to the people in a democratic election and put those points to them? Let them decide in an open election. We don't have any channel to tell people what's going on. Because at this moment, we don't have democracy. We have parliamentary dictatorship because Taksin has a huge amount of money and he has got so many constituents of electoral process. He bought many provincial governors. He bought many provincial police commanders. He bought so many uh, election committees. And also he used his public scheme to lure people to support him. They like the benefit and the incentive, but they don't know that Taksim is corrupted. He cheated and he stole a lot of money from Thai people. We don't want people to have the bigger culture waiting for subsidiary without considering morality, ethics, merit, and also good governance. Two, two. One more question. Sure. Okay. There are allegations of corruption, of vote buying on both sides. Well, we it, corrupt, you know, that. corruption is endemic throughout Thai society. But uh, there's a degree, some degree people tolerate, but Taksin go overboard. And we will never tolerate this action again. Not only corruption, but he tried to own or to take ownership of many public property. No other government has done that before. There might be a corruption or percentage of the budget, but not by issuing policy to take ownership of the public property. Before you say anything, please investigate and know the context.